How to automatically share old blog posts. Social media is a busy place, with hundreds of millions of tweets and Facebook posts going out every single day, it's easy for your shares to get lost in the crowd. That's why only sharing your content on social media when you first publish it is not enough. You need to share old blog posts to really maximize the traffic you get from social media. In this video, I'm going to do two things. First, I'll briefly tell you how and why reposting old content can benefit your site. Then. I'll show you exactly how to do this automatically with one of Tmile's very own plugins called Revive All Posts. The importance of resharing old content on social media comes down to three main areas. Sharing old content lets you get more traffic from the same followers. Because of busy news feeds and decreasing reach for organic social posts, it's common for many of your visitors to never even see some of your posts. For example, Thomas Tungas found that each time he reshared content on Twitter, it still got about 75% of the retweets that the original post received. Get more traffic from new followers. If your site is growing, your social media followers counts are probably growing as well. That means people who follow you today might not have seen the post you shared last month. When you share old blog posts, you give these new social media followers a chance to see your old content. Get more traffic from followers in different time zones. If you are only sharing your content when you publish it, that means you're likely only reaching followers in a single time zone. Sure. You might reach all your American followers, but miss European followers. If you repost your content at different times, you can make sure to reach your followers in all time zones. Have I convinced you to share old blog posts? I hope so, because now I'm going to show you exactly how to do it with Revive Old Post. This plugin has both a free and a premium version. I'm going to show you how to use the free version, then I'll share some extra features in the premium. To get started with the plugin, you can install it like any other WordPress plugin. Once you activate the plugin, you'll see a Revive Old Post tab in your dashboard sidebar. Click on that tab to configure it. Before adding your social accounts, you should configure what content to share and how you want that content to look. To do that, first go to the General Settings tab. Here's everything you should configure. Minimum interval between shares. This number, in hours, determines the maximum frequency with which you will share old blog posts. Minimum age of post to be eligible for sharing. This number in days indicates how old the post has to be before it's eligible to be re-shared. Maximum age of post to be eligible for sharing. The opposite of the previous number, this helps you avoid sharing content that's too old. Number of posts to share. Enter how many posts you want to include in each share. The default is 1 but you can enter a different number to share multiple posts in a single time. If you want to share old blog posts multiple times, you should also check that box. Similarly, you can easily add Google Analytics tracking to see how much traffic you get when you share old blog posts. Checking the Google Analytics box will add UTM tags to your links. Finally, if you want to exclude specific categories from being shared, you can select them from the drop-down. For example, if you have a category of blog post that only deals with current news, you probably don't want to reshare it because it will quickly become out of date. Once you fill everything out, make sure to click the Save button before you move on. After you fill out the general settings, you should go to the Post Format tab. This tab will let you configure exactly how your actual shares are structured. 
First, pick your post content from the drop-down and choose the length. You'll likely want to leave both these boxes as the default. If you are using custom fields, you can have the plugin automatically get information from a custom field by filling the post content custom field box. If you don't know what a custom field is, you can feel free to ignore this box. To add additional text beyond the post title, you can fill in the additional text box. Then you can choose whether this text appears at the beginning or end of a post. Just make sure that you don't make this text too long. Remember that you only have 140 characters max. If you want to disable links in your posts, you can do that with the Include Link drop-down. In most cases, you definitely want to include a link though. You can also use a URL shortener by checking that box. And if you want to get a URL from a custom field, you can enter that. But again, if you don't know what custom fields are, you can totally ignore the custom field option. Finally, you can use the hashtags drop-down to automatically add hashtags from categories, tags, custom fields or global hashtags. Once you've filled everything out, make sure to click save. Now that you've configured everything, you are ready to add your social media accounts. Go to the Accounts tab and click Add Account next to the social network you want to add. I'll use Twitter, for example. Once you click Add Account, you'll get a request to authorize the plugin to use your Twitter account. If you are not logged in to your Twitter account, you'll need to log in first. Just click the Authorize App button. This Let's revive all posts automatically post to your Twitter account, which is essential for the plugin to function. After that, you'll be taken back to the plugin dashboard and you should see your account successfully added. Adding a Facebook account is a little more complicated. Click on the link Go to Developers Facebook.com Apps. Next, click on Create New App from the top right corner. Enter a display name, namespace, contact email, category and click on Create App ID. After you prove you are human and the page loads, go to the dashboard. Copy your App ID and App Secret in the fields on the right. Go back to the App Dashboard and next to Get Started with the Facebook SDK, click Choose a Platform. Select Website from the options when the page loads, scroll down and copy the following URL into Site URL area. Then click Next. When the new page loads, click Skip Quick Start then go to Settings. In the App Domains area, paste the following URL. Then scroll down and click Save Changes. Go to App Review and turn the switch asking to make your app public to Yes and click Continue. Now everything is almost done. Click on Authorize App button on the right of the screen. A new page will open asking you to continue as yourself. Click OK. The next page will ask you who you want the post to be shared with. Select Public if you want everyone to see shared posts. Once you've added all the accounts you want, you are ready to share old blog posts. Just click the Start Sharing button to activate the plugin. You can also click the See Sample Post button if you want to preview how your shares will look before you start. Once you click the Start Sharing button, the plugin will add a countdown timer so you always know when your content will be shared. If you ever need to exclude an individual post from sharing, you can do that from the Exclude Post menu. The free version of Revive Old Post should be powerful enough for individual bloggers. But here are some reasons you might want to upgrade to Pro. To share old blog posts to different accounts on the same social network. You will be able to automatically add images to your posts. 
you will have more control over scheduling the ability to build an advanced queue, and you will be able to post to LinkedIn, Xing and Tumblr. If you don't need any of those features, you should be fine with the free version for now.